He's coming for it. He's coming. He's coming. Oh my god. God. Yep, there's another one. Yep. Oh, there's a big bass right there. You see him? Yep. That's a good fish. Big fish. Big fish. What's up guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another Slabtastic adventure. Not getting too crazy with this one. No big destinations or anything. Where we're going is actually a golf course. We're gonna go fish an active golf course, not an abandoned golf course or anything. This is like an actual golf course. And if you know anything about golf course bass fishing, you know golf courses are typically loaded with really, really big bass if they have ponds on them. This one that we're going to today has some really big ones. And apparently you can just you can just fish there towards the evening, you know, they, they just allow people to come on and fish for free. And then of course, as we've been uh, doing a lot of lately, we're, we're gonna fly fish. A five plus pound bass on a fly rod is not something we've really experienced yet and it might be pretty intense. So hopefully we can hook in to a huge golf course bass on the fly and hopefully you guys and maybe us will learn a thing or two about fly fishing for bass. Should be a fun one, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are here at the golf course and um, there's a lot of ponds on this course. The golfers are kind of winding down. I don't see too many people else out on the course right now. The pond that we want to get to is all the way in the back. That's the really juicy, good looking one. There's also one like right here though, over on the side. So I think we're just gonna like sneak on over out here because I'm not sure we're really supposed to be out here according to some new information. But I think we can get right there and start fishing and then work our way all the way back to the juice. So uh, let's get it. Let's do this thing. All right guys, we're making our way over to this little pond over here. There's actually, I didn't see those golfers back there. There's still a few groupings filtering their way through. So hopefully uh, we can we can dodge those foos. We're going uh, we're going top water today. I got this little boogle bug fly. It's basically like a popper, but it's also got some little appendages. So it looks like a like a bug type of profile. And I'm gonna sit back a little bit far from the edge of this. I'm not gonna get like too terribly close. I already see some little fish down in there. So let's see if we can't get this thing out there. I'm gonna literally throw it right like right in this pocket. That looks really, really freaking good. It's getting bit by something right there. It's getting, I think it was getting pecked at by those, uh, by those brim. All right, let's make one more cast like over here in this corner. Nothing really going on there. That's a good looking brim bed though. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bass somewhere. Definitely a bunch of brim around it. Bro, if one comes up out of that mat, holy moly. I think I got a bunch of mat. Yeah, I do. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's get to some open water. This would be a sweet house. Right on a pond on a golf course. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yep, <laughs> sick. <laughs> Yo, that was cool. <laughs> that was pretty freaking sweet. Oh my gosh, that dude literally just like creeped out. Didn't even put up a fight because I just scooped him out right out of the water because this is not a bad one. I mean, on a fly rod, boom. Yeah, on the, on the boogle bug, sweet. He literally like creeped out from the mat and just got like right under it. I'm like, what is this? And I popped it hard one more time and he came up and, and smashed it. He's a little skinny, looks like he needs a good meal. I'm gonna let this guy go. Thank you, buddy. Oh, there's another one right there. That's a big one, dude. Wow. That was a good one. It's like a four pounder. That just swam off right there. I just saw a shadow. Let's let this dude go. He's about to splash me. Watch this. Oh, there he goes. Right there. So cool. <laughs> nice. Here, let's see if we can't get that bigger one to eat. Cause that was a, that was a big one, dude. Man, that was a big fish, dude. I'm telling you, I just barely saw him. He was, he's just a shadow, but three, four pounds, somewhere in that range. Much bigger than that one that I just caught. Two. Oh, what is that?
Oh, something was underneath it, it looked like. All right, let's roll. All right, guys, we're walking. Uh, there's the green, there's the pond we were just at. Kind of walking down the side alleyway here so we don't get in the way of the golfers. We're going to the juice now. If it's anything like like that pond, if it's if it's better than that pond, then that'll be that'll be freaking sweet. This pond right here looks alive. Yeah, there's one. There's two right there, small ones. Oh, dude, what is that? Yo, come here. Yo, look, it's like a muskrat or something. Oh, there it goes. I snuck up on him. That was wild. Oh, there's a big bass right there. You see him? You see him moving this way, moving this way, right there, up against the thing. That's a pretty good one. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can get one of these. Oh, here he is. He's right here. He's coming for it. He's coming. He's coming. Oh my God. Holy moly, dude. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a big one. That was a big one, dude. That was insane. It's called Slab Dynasty. Slab Dynasty? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bro, that was the most violent strike I've seen yet. I don't know how I didn't hook him. I'm, I need to get better with my hook setting, I guess. Oh, my God. Yeah, there he is. That's a little one. Tiny guy right there. But he choked it. That was cool. Right in front of these dudes that just teed off. <laughs> Tiny little dude, but he choked it. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh yeah, <laughs> short stocky dudes in pink shirts playing golf. Gotta love them. There he is. All right, let's get that big one. That big one absolutely annihilated it and ran off. And this, this, I couldn't even handle him, dude. That was violent. <laughs> let's get one all the way over on the other side here. <laughs> God dang, dude. <laughs> that's that's not a bad one. It's not huge. <sighs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Got my fly line wrapped up on this. I need to get down there with them. I'm not going to be able to flip this one. Come on in here. This is a chunk. It's a little chunk. Come on in here, baby. Oh, wow freaking blowing up baby love it oh, let's go nice <laughs> he's about the same size as that as that first one i got this is what we came here for guys i'm going to back up off this because there's still some i don't want to see how many we can catch like right here in the spot look at that guys boogle bug right to the face i'm going to get this unhooked pretty quickly and get this guy back in the water because there are much bigger ones i think in this pond and you know, we don't have like all the time in the world. We've got a lot, a lot more water to fish. So. Man, they are just annihilating it right here, dude. Oh my gosh. And like this guy right here felt like a good, pretty decent fight on that eight weight fly rod. I'm gonna let this guy go. Pretty decent fight on an eight weight fly rod. If we can run into a three or four pounder today, that's gonna be very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. I, I feel like it's gonna happen. That first one was, I think was pushing three. So all right, I'm getting right back in. I'm going over here. Like there's a there's that big one that we saw. Yeah, at least I get it. Corner. Yeah. They're insane. <laughs> That's a little guy. We don't want him. No more little ones. 
I know there's giants in here. We need to we need to focus on those. I think that's every single cast so far. There's been one that's blown up. Yep, there he is. He's looking at it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> He's, oh, oh, he came off good. Honestly, that was fine. I don't want. I don't want him. I'm gonna shoot it right down this line. I know there's a big one on this line. Wow, first cast without a bite. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? Not much. You caught any fish? Yeah, we caught a few. Yeah. yeah. They've been hitting top water, man. I figured that was y'all whenever I seen y'all over there. Okay, you know us? Yeah, I met y'all at the um at the at the boat show. Sweet. Last year, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah I've been that's watching awesome. y'all on YouTube quite a bit. Yeah, what's your name? Nate. Nate? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Nate. Uh, have you fished in here any? We we did like at the spillway for a minute, but we're gonna we're literally coming back to go right up this this yeah, bank right here. So we lose the sun. yeah, um, there's a couple of stumps over there that's always got a fish on them. I'll I'll show you where they're at. Okay, but. sweet. There's normally a fish with this spillway every time it's putting out water. Yeah, yeah, yeah we cast it there. My yeah, we tried that a couple times. But there's there's um that spillway right there. This little, this little stick up, there's a huge stump right under the water. You can, okay. you can just barely see it if you look out there. That's where that giant missed that frog the other day. Let me get the frog Okay. Yeah. Well, our boy Nathan right here just hooked us up with, with all the secrets on this, uh, this little pond out here. There's, that spillway should have some fish. And then there's a stump right here. And you said what, like a seven pounder? Yeah. Came off of that stump? Yeah. Oh my gosh. If a seven pounder hits this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know if I could land a seven pounder on this setup. Yeah. That looks pretty dope right there, honestly. Yep, not a big one, but pretty cool hit anyways. Of course I turn away and, and he hits. Not a big one, just another little little dude. <clears throat> tiny, tiny, tiny. Dink, dinker. See ya buddy. I can't get a good like pop on this thing, there we go. Yeah, that was a little one. Ah. But that stuff back there is where that big one missed it, and then this stuff up here is the one that actually caught that fish on. If you kind of stand on this drain out here, it's out. You, you can definitely get it there with a the fly rod, but. <laughs> no, but it scared the crap out of me. See, it might come back. I think it seems like those little ones are closer to the bank. Where are you took it? Ah man, a ton of places. We were at a little river today that has some spotted bass and stuff in it. There he is. <laughs> oh my god, not a big one. Ah, I can't catch up with them. Not a big one, but that was a cool bite for sure. <clears throat> there we go. Another one. Hey man, like I always say, can't complain when they're blowing up. Can't complain. I would like a bigger one right now, but cannot complain. See you little dude. Go tell your great grandma. Someone down this grass line.
Yep, that's a good fish. Big fish, big fish. Bigger, yep, for sure. <laughs> there it is, boys. It didn't even blow it up that hard. Like, it just came up and slurped it. Oh, please stay on. Like, look at this. <laughs> just bend it. I can't even move this thing, barely. This is an eight-weight fly rod, and it's just, like, dogging me right now. It feels like I've got a flathead catfish on. Oh, my God. Woo -hoo -hoo. I can get him over to this bank. He's coming up. Oh, my God. That's like a four-pounder. No! God, dude, why? Oh, man. The woes with the fly rod continue. 65-pound mm. braid and a frog. Boat flip his ass up here. Dude, that was so heavy on this rod. Like, I could barely, like, even... Let me see if the hook bent out, actually. No, not really. All right, let's see if another one's home. God, yep, there's another one. Nope, couldn't get a hook set. I think maybe I'm not getting a good enough hook set, to be honest with you. I think I need to absolutely annihilate them on the hook set. Oh my God, that's a big one. Uh, it's not huge, but it's pretty good. Uh, all right, oh my God. <laughs> all right, come on in here. I'm not messing around with you. Uh, get in the boat, get in the boat. <laughs> that's a pretty good one right there. Scared the crap out of me, dude. These fish are crazy in here. Fish are crazy. Oh my gosh, nice. Nothing huge, I mean, maybe two maybe kind of skinny so that hook just fell out that hook fell out of his mouth i guarantee you i'm not getting good hook sets anyways guys that's that's not a bad one that might be the last one of the day so we might go ahead and end this video but uh just a a beautiful fish and out here on the golf course with our boy nate oh man that is that is sweet we're still getting the hang of this fly fishing thing obviously but fun day they've been blowing up today all right, guys, letting this fish go. See ya, buddy. See ya, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All righty, guys, that is a wrap on today's video. This fly fishing thing, man, I swear, I, I can't quite, we can't quite figure it out. I feel like I've been saying this a lot about the fly fishing videos, like, like pretty good day, but could have been better. Another missed fish at the end of the day. It's super frustrating. That, that's two trips in a row now. The bowfin, last video, and then that, probably about four pound bass this video. I actually went and looked up some stuff on hook setting with a fly rod. And, you know, thus far, you know, we fished for trout really, mainly prior to kind of all of our, our fly fishing for bass adventures that we've been shooting recently. Trout was the only thing that we really targeted on the fly. And with trout, you don't really have to hook set all that much. You really just lift the rod up in the air, get a little bit of bend, and those trout, they're just, they're softer, you know? Like they don't have like that really, hard jaw structure and mouth with things like bowfin and bass and other bigger species where you've got bigger flies with bigger hooks. You have to do what's called strip setting. So strip setting is when you get a bite, you keep your rod pointed at the bait and you really strip into the fish until it's tight. And then you can lift your rod up to fight the fish. But stripping into the fish hard is key apparently. So we'll see, we'll see if I can work on that. but. That's all we got for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hope you guys are enjoying the fly fishing content. Over these next couple videos, definitely more fly fishing content on the way. We're gonna mix in some other stuff too. We've got some really cool stuff planned. In a couple weeks, we're actually gonna go down to the beach and uh, do some, do a little bit different stuff that you haven't seen on the channel in quite some time. So I won't give away any any spoilers on that, but, but that should be really sweet. That's all I got, guys. And hey, remember, all it takes is one, baby. Slab out.